I just want to preface this video by saying I'm not paid or sponsored to mention any of the links in this video regarding the free JavaScript courses or the channels or anything like that. I'm just doing it because I really like their content and I want to give you guys the best resources that I can think of. This video is, however, sponsored by Monday.com. So I appreciate you, Monday.com, for supporting the channel, keeping the lights on. Shout out to you guys. If you don't know what Monday.com is, I've talked about it in a previous video. I'm going to look at their software here pretty soon when I can get access to that. But it's a team management tool it's for productivity and collaboration. Uber uses it. McDonald's uses it. NBC uses it. So you can be on a large team, large corporation, or you can just be a couple freelancers working together. It shows your deadlines, who's working on what, how long they've been working on it, the progress of the task, so the status of the task, and a lot more. It's simple, it's pretty intuitive, and I really like how the UI UX is done. So I'll leave the link in the description below. You guys can check that out if you want. What's going on, guys? So I've kind of been procrastinating and making this video because I know it's going to be a pain to edit. I'm human just like you guys and like knowing it's going to be annoying and kind of time consuming to edit it it's kind of like put me off of doing it so this is me in that moment not feeling like doing something but doing something anyways this is what that looks like so if you're out there struggling to put that first foot forward and just do something you know go do it I'm right there I'm right there with you I know what that feels like you just have to you have to get it done you do the action and then you get the inspiration you don't wait for it don't 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 flip flop those Anyways, I think Christmas came a little early in this video for you guys. So Santa Josh here is going to walk you through all the free JavaScript resources I could think of. And I even asked the Discord anything that they've used that they would like to contribute to the video. Now, keep in mind, I haven't actually used every single one of these resources. I just know about them. I'm familiar with them. I've recommended them to people, but I've just never really took a deep dive. And keep in mind, you might learn differently. The teacher might teach differently. The material is explained some way that you don't understand. But if you, you know, same concept, different teacher, you're like, oh, got it, right? That's why I'm giving you a whole bunch. All right, so I think a lot of you guys know who this is, but we got Brad Traversy here. Up front, 571,000 subscribers, just tons and tons and tons of tutorials and how-to content and a bunch of even niche stuff. Like, he even made a video on how to make a, a Chrome extension. I, I mean, I haven't seen that anywhere. And when I Google it, he was the first one to come up. He's got loads and loads and loads of resources, uh, frameworks, libraries, anything you want, basically, when it comes to web development and tutorials. A lot of people ask me to do these types of things. I'm like, nah, bro, just go watch, just go watch Brad. He's got it all. All right, next up we got the New Boston. I think the OG New Boston kind of like retired and like other people run this channel now, but this channel has so many free resources, kind of similar to Brad Traversy, but he does programming, web design, game development, and um, a few other things like, um, but pretty similar in tutorial content. Loads of good playlists here that you should check out. I mean, 2.1 million subscribers in the programming niche. That's like, that's like end game goals. All right, next up we got the coding train. Like this guy takes charisma and excitement to another level when it comes to coding. This guy is like the hypest hype ever. And I think he just like live streams a bunch of tutorials is, is what it seems like. But like, I don't know if coding train watches this channel. He probably doesn't, but like, can you send some energy my way? I want, I want what you got, man. Like this is, he's got a lot of difficult stuff here. A lot of uh, kind of algorithmic type problems, stuff that you'll probably need on the interview, uh, algorithms, data structures, stuff like that. He teaches some pretty niche stuff and he's super excited about it. I mean, you can see the video playing in the background. Like, All right, next up we got Fun Fun Function, formerly MPJ. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know who this is, but he, wor he worked at Spotify, then he quit his Spotify job and now he does videos about how to handle code on the job. I remember specifically watching a video about technical debt and how to handle that. And then he talks about motivation and you see the first video, it's okay to feel unproductive. And he does a lot of different kind of like pair programming type deals he'll code something from scratch with one of his friends super good channel definitely recommend he's pretty funny too all right so next up we got your boy west boss here i get a lot of recommendations in the discord for west boss you can check him out i mean he's making a flying drone here like west i don't know if you watch these videos actually i think you're subscribed to the channel but if you watch this you're doing the dream right there i want to make a flying drone too that looks pretty sweet all powered by javascript on dji nice so css grid in 45 minutes got a lot of good tutorials here a lot of people like west boss be sure to check them out next up we got dev tips i think uh this used to be run by someone else and then he got a job at google and he gave this channel to these guys i guess i don't really know what's happening this looks very similar to fun fun function i think og dev tips used to do other things if i scroll far enough back yeah this guy this is this is og dev tips down here um i, I don't really know what happened to him but you know now it's got fun fun function and uh, this other guy on here. So be sure to check this out. He's got lots of stuff about like SAS. I remember he taught me how to do parallax in SAS. I remember specifically watching that video. That was a good video. Um, so dev tips, check that one out. 
Next up, we got Free Code Camp, and they have tons of courses. I mean, you can see Learn React JS nine hours ago, full course for beginners, like right there. So if you're looking to learn React and you want a tutorial, Free Code Camp right here nine hours ago, almost five thousand views. Vue.js and Firebase, real-time chat, like they got tons of good applications and project ideas that you can follow along and build with. You know, and then occasionally they'll have people on the on that also like streaming on the channel, like doing code. Someone in Discord named I'm Funny actually recommended this course specifically. It's called Learn JavaScript Full Course for Beginners. It's three hours and 26 minutes long. It's a pretty long course, but totally free, and it's had a lot of good reviews. A lot of people in the Discord seem to like it. So specifically, you want to learn a modern JavaScript kind of uh, from basics course, you may check this out. So here we got another course, JavaScript Fundamentals for Absolute Beginners 2018. This was recommended to me by Ron JW1. He also recommended Brad, Traversy, and Wes Boss. And then this is a series by Bob Tabor, but he changed his name to Code Once. So you want to check this video out for Absolute Beginners. Check this one out. All right, next up, we got MM Tuts Multimedia Tutorials. If you go to playlists, he actually has uh, a lot of playlists in here, especially for like for front-end development. You got how to Photoshop, Photoshop for beginners. He's also got HTML and CSS, and then he also has updated JavaScript tutorials. So you can come check this one out if you're interested. Next up, we got your boy Dylan Israel. People keep asking me to collab with Dylan. I don't know if you watch these videos, Dylan, but maybe we should do a video here at some point. This guy used to be Coding Tutorials 360, but he changed his name to Dylan Israel. And he makes a video, it looks like, almost every day or at least once a week here. He's got a lot of tutorials on JavaScript. He's got all the libraries, he's got all the frameworks. He's even got the super basics. You got TLDR, SAS, you got introduction to HTML5, etc., etc. Check out your boy, Dylan Israel. Next up, we got programming with Mosh. A lot of people on the Discord seem to love programming with Mosh, so shout out to you, Mosh. If we come over here to his videos, he's got a lot of stuff for learning JavaScript. JavaScript for React developers, so he's going to go over like the specific stuff, kind of like that video I made a little bit ago, like the bare minimum you need to know for React. This is the JavaScript for React. So he he dives deep on those all those topics basically that I mentioned. Um, JavaScript for beginners seven months ago. You know he's got a lot of videos here for JavaScript, so check out this guy. All right, um, kind of last but not least here we got Derek Bannis. This dude's like a wizard. So he's got JavaScript, he's got web design, psychology, live stream, gaming, product reviews, RPG. Like, you know when they say, like, build a niche on uh, YouTube? He's like, I'm going to build a niche, and that niche is literally everything, uh, except he's successful. Most of the time, that doesn't work. This has got 901,000 subscribers. He's got tons and tons and tons of tutorials on here. Arduino, learn Japanese, C++, Blender tutorial. This dude, this dude is an absolute wizard. So not only has he got you covered on the JavaScript, he's got you covered basically on life. Uh, I think he just needs to add like career coach or um, Derek Bannis Robbins maybe. I don't know. That would work. And then you'd be good to go. So check out Derek here. Up next, we got Max Sanolin. It was recommended to me by Brian Jojo in the Discord. He's got a couple JavaScript tutorials here, how to make to-do apps, part one and part two. And I know every time you make a to-do app, a puppy dies. I get it. But they're good learning projects for like very, very basic beginner students that want to learn JavaScript. You can see the fallout here, right? 227,000 drops to 43,000. Uh, people are like, oh, this is too hard. I'm out. JavaScript, not for me. So see like the actual weed out that's it's it's pretty good channel I checked out the videos they're actually pretty succinct and I like them a lot so check out Max Sandlin all right we're moving on to websites first up we got JavaScript 30 this is by West boss so he has a YouTube channel and he has JavaScript 30 so it's 30 days 30 videos build a project every single day he's got array cardio so practice your fundamentals tools and tips and tricks and you know 30 days of just straight coding so JavaScript 30 is a good way to kind of get immersed all right, next up we got javascript.info. I haven't actually been to this website before, but it's got fundamentals, code quality, objects, the basics, data types, advanced working with functions, part one, and it's got a part two down here, so it gets more advanced. I'm not exactly sure what all is entailed in this website. I've never used it before. Seems to be mostly written, no videos. So if you're more of a reader type of guy or girl, this website will do you some justice. Next up we got egghead.io. This is a pretty popular website but it kind of has random projects on here. So it's not going to take you like from the beginning to like advanced. It's not going to take you from fundamentals to advanced. And then some of these are actually paid, but there are a few projects that are free. He, he's got more than just JavaScript on here. He's got libraries, he's got frameworks, he's got other tools, and some of it's free, some of it's paid, but again, you don't have to like sign up or anything. So Egghead.io is a pretty good resource. This is, this is my friend Brandon, and I'm practicing getting better at talking to the camera and doing things in front of other people without caring. So he's on a video call watching me record this video to, you know, peer pressure and to force me into like talk in front of people without 
really thinking what they're doing. You gotta go to extreme measures. So he's like making funny faces over here. Next up, we got the Odin Project. The Odin Project is mostly for Ruby on Rails development. They have some projects that are they're based on Ruby on Rails, but they do have a JavaScript course. If you go to the odinproject.com slash courses slash JavaScript, you'll find the JavaScript tutorial. You start off with a few basic projects, restaurant page, to-do list, tic-tac-toe, etc. So this is a good one, and it's also free. This one was recommended to me by someone in the Discord, Ace Mauti. He lives and dies by this course. He'll swear it gets you to where you need to go in JavaScript, and it's a free Udacity course. Now, Udacity is mostly paid, but this course is actually free, and apparently it's very well taught. Next up, we have a book. You can actually order this off Amazon if you want, but it's free online. You can go to eloquentjavascript.com, and it's all written. So if you're a visual person, you need pictures and stuff like me to understand things, this might not be as good for you, but it's totally free, and it takes you from the very basics to more advanced stuff, and it even gives you a couple projects, a pixel art editor, skill sharing website, and it covers some pretty advanced topics. So you can check this one out too, eloquentjavascript.com. Next up, we got Free Code Camp. They have JavaScript, obviously. I'm sure all you guys know about Free Code Camp because I mentioned their YouTube channel earlier in the video, but they actually have a website too. It's all written content. You can code along and solve the problems, and it goes to pretty advanced stuff. They even have some projects that you can work on. So if you really want to understand what's under the hood of JavaScript, this is your place to do it. They have great explanations of everything. They even have examples, and they even have gotchas of those examples. So, oh, I would use this here. Nope, nope, you wouldn't use that here. You'd use this method here instead. And you can come down. You can see here they have tutorials for complete beginners, learning area for JavaScript topics, JavaScript first steps, et cetera, et cetera. But this will explain different methods and how JavaScript is really working under the hood. I use this all the time. Uh, when I really need to understand what a method is doing. And this is where I came to learn dot .map, dot .reduce, dot .filter. This explains it the best. One more before I go, because I was looking at my list here. We got W3Schools. This is kind of like one-off examples. You can see on the left here all the different home, introduction, where to, output, statements, booleans, comparisons, conditions, and you can just scroll down and work your way through this. There's a whole lot to learn on W3Schools, and they have a little try it yourself. And I think if you've ever Googled anything related to programming, you've seen W3Schools, so that's why it's at the very end. But make sure to mention it for you complete noobs out there. And these are some resources to start. So this is nowhere close to the amount of free JavaScript resources. These are just the most popular ones that I know, the ones that I recommend, and the ones that the people in the Discord recommend. I'm sure I'll be ripped apart in the comments for all of the people, the channels, the websites, and whatever else, you know, I'll be torn apart for missing it. So hopefully there's something in this list, and there should be, for everyone out there watching this to match up with their learning style and their pacing and basically everything you need that fits with you. So you can take yourself to that next income bracket, really level up your skills, get a different job, whatever it is that you're trying to do. Some of you guys might be watching this video thinking, I don't wanna make a large investment up front to learn something I might not even like. So that's why they're all free and I think they're pretty good. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Maybe leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, let me know what I missed, but I know that's gonna happen regardless. So I look forward to seeing those comments. Shoot me a message. Shoot me an email if you got any questions. And again, if you want to contribute to this list for the next topic, PHP, frameworks, whatever, the link for the Discord is in the description below. Be sure to check out my website. I'm always looking for feedback there. And if you're looking for a resume or cover letter, maybe check that out. Got a lot of people jobs lately. Anyways, guys, I hope it's been helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.